Hey, Killer Artillery right here, doing a review for the Chipman 98 Custom. Right here, it's a paintball gun. Um, it is mostly, actually, pretty much mostly metal. Here's this name. Um, just gonna take off this. Let me show you. It. Okay. So the middle parts on this gun are this. Like, it's it's actually kind of most plastic actually. Uh, the safety button, the um, cocking handle right here. Um, forgot that I have air in it. The uh, some little thing right here. Inside, if you look down the barrel, it's metal inside there. Uh, some metal inside here, screws, bolts, things that hold together. Spring in the back is metal, if you can see in there. If the if there's kind of a glare, you can it's because of the sun. The uh, metal metal tube is I don't know if that's made of aluminum, maybe steel. Uh, this bottom piece plastic. Uh, this body might I don't know this body might be made of plastic or metal I don't know can't tell the words are plastic grips is plastic. This grip back here is plastic, has a front grip too, which is really nice. A hopper feed, which I, it's a wiggling around for some reason. Um, uh, the trigger is also metal. The trigger guard's plastic, that's pretty much for the plastic parts. The sight is, I believe, plastic. And I don't know about this, but it might be adjustable. But, Yeah, who knows? It's partly adjustable, like you can move it forward and backwards like this. I'm gonna keep it like where it is right now. Okay, so it has a tactical rail. I'm glad that they put the thing right here, because if you were to have the um thing right here with my other paintball gun, you couldn't add anything. Like you could add a scoop on this tactical rail, and you would be seeing a hopper, hopper chamber. Um, the barrel is right here. It's full metal. All metal. This gun costs about $170, $180. I got it for my, uh, for, for Christmas this year. Or last year, because it's 2011. I got it 2010 for Christmas. So uh, it has some, like, little holes in the end. Uh, holes right here, too. If you can see the sights. to get it but I don't know if I can see that. Um, this is pretty much an overview of the gun. Yeah, I have a huge CO2 tank in the back, 20 ounce. I have 24 down in the, my basement because I have two paintball guns. I have one for each and then just in case I had a war like an airsoft battle. LVP. I recommend LVP for airsoft, uh, and airsoft and paintball battles. Uh, it's a great place to go for um, paintball but you don't want to have a really, really crappy gun. Uh, this is like, say, the, the least gun that you want to have for airsoft. You're probably going to get shot up from videos I'm doing there. Uh, to insert the hopper, which most of you will probably know. And if it's too big, and you can't fit it in this little screw, you just unscrew it. This one's, right now, it's pretty good. It's a little bit loose. And then you want to, of course, open the hopper. There's some tape balls here. I have plenty. I have a bunch for LVP. I don't know how far this shoots. I would say maybe 50 feet, maybe, at the most. Let me see if it's working. Oh, holy crap, that's working. I'm going to take this off of pumped. I'm going to take both off. Um, mostly, uh, the hopper I know is plastic. The thing, plastic, all that. Uh, yeah, it ranged from like 150 to $220. That's what I've seen it for. Uh, there's parts you can add. Actually, you can take this hooking off right here and add this new like the cyclone thing so it should feed better because like if you have a hopper you might have to shake it sometimes um the cocking handle part of it's plastic actually so the back piece is plastic uh, uh i'm missing a screw for right here i have to find that sometime i actually don't know what this is for i think it's for air release but i have to figure that out 
Uh, you want to clean this a lot every time you shoot it. After every time you shoot it, you want to clean it, especially if a paintball explodes, because it'll clog up your barrel and all that. Um, and if it's going to, and they're not going back, I would go in online buy some O-rings and a bunch of parts for it. So it's gonna have. Um, I had um, it was broken. Now I'm gonna go do a shooting test, showing you guys how this gun shoots. I have some stuff set up back there. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to my trampoline, which is my shooting test spot for. I don't know why there's a piece of ice there. I'm gonna get on my trampoline to set this up. Uh. Right there. I'm going to get off the trampoline and hope this doesn't fall. Okay, 50 feet maybe. I'm going to stand behind this trampoline. Uh, it's not the best accuracy for the table gun. I'm gonna get through my bolts here with the second thing. Shooting test. I knocked them off. Whoa, two of those paintballs bounced back. That's the end of the shooting test. Um, gotta zoom out. That is the Tipman 98 Custom. It is a very nice gun. Not the best accuracy though. I suggest, uh, I mean, like it can be full. Wait, I'll show you just some, like how it looks when it's shooting. And you just like. Like that to turn it off. Wait, I'll show you. To get it off, I suggest uh, you can actually have a full automatic pistol so you can go. But I suggest using this front bar and if you want, get a better barrel. And they can upgrade it with the stock. I build, I don't know. I don't know if you can get a stock for this one. Uh, and you can get a cycle. I suggest upgrading as much as you can, putting a uh, automatic pistol. Uh, automatic trigger on it and then a uh, better cyclone uh, and that's it for this review kill artillery this is kill artillery and